Welcome to the Nexus Link tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about the sequential node network, primary and secondary nodes, Nexus Link connector types, different combinations of nodes that are possible, and how to control the corresponding lighting and cooling components through Nexus software. Nexus Link devices connect as a sequential node network, combining power, cooling, lighting, and sensor data into a single cable, drastically reducing cable management clutter. Primary nodes, such as the Thick Q60 and Nexus Portal NP50, create and distribute the sequential node network through multiple Nexus Link channels. Secondary nodes nodes such as the thick FP12 fans and IS10 or LS30 qRGB light strips sequentially expand the existing network by tapping into active Nexus Link channels. First, let's talk about the connectors. You have Nexus Link Type C which plugs together and Nexus Link Type M which magnetically snaps together. Both come in one of two genders. Type C male will have an extended connector, while Type C female will have a recessed connector. Likewise, the Type M male connector will have the pins extending out, while the Type M female connector will have the recessed contact pads. Next, let's jump into the Nexus Link primary nodes, the Thick Q60 and the Nexus Portal NP50. The Thick Q60 is a primary node with 1x Nexus Link Type C and 1x Nexus Link Type M channels to control an entire system's worth of cooling and lighting off a single cable. You can connect up to 18 devices on a single channel and up to 34 devices across both Type C and Type M channels. If you want to use a different cooler but want to upgrade your setup with Nexus Link, you can purchase the Nexus Portal NP50 which fits in any 2.5 inch mounting location. The NP50 is a Nexus Link primary node with 3x Type C and 1x Legacy 4 pin PWM channels to control an entire system's cooling and lighting with a single hub. NP50 will allow you to connect up to 18 devices on a single channel or up to 54 devices across all three Type C channels. As for the Nexus Link secondary nodes, we have the thick FP12 performance fans which utilize Nexus Link Type M and LS10 or LS30 QR RGB light strips, which utilize Nexus Link Type C. FP12 is the 120 mm fan that does it all, an intuitive and aesthetic 32 mm thick design that excels as both a case and radiator fan with the best performance to noise ratio on the market. Fiberglass reinforced liquid crystal polymer supercharges the fan blades, delivering up to a monstrous 105.8 CFM airflow and 8.14 mm H2O static pressure. LS10 and LS30 provide the ultimate digital immersion lighting. A 20 or 62 pixel qRGB array creates an immersive 2D lighting experience with 24 bit color depth. Available in both 330 millimeter and 1000 millimeter sizes for wide compatibility and flexibility when it comes to integrating with your setup. Now let's talk about the different sequential connectivity made possible by Nexus Link. Starting with the Q60, it's a primary node with two Nexus Link channels, the Type C channel on top and the Type M channel which is pre-routed to the radiator fans below. Let's start from the top. Connect an LS10 or LS10 LS30 directly to the Q60's Type-C channel using the Type-C mail connector on the light strip. From there, you can continue sequentially connecting other Nexus Link secondary nodes. If you want to start the light strip from a specific spot in your case, you can connect the Type-C female to Type-C mail extension cable to the light strip. You can also connect the light strips to FP12 fans using the corresponding Nexus Link Type-C to Type-M cables. A good tip to remember is that the primary nodes have a Type-C female connector, which means you'll need to plug your secondary nodes into an available Type-C channel using the Type-C male end of the cable. Now for the other Nexus Link channel on Q60, connect another FP12 fan to the existing radiator fans at the bottom using a Nexus Link Type-M male to Type-M female cable. You can also connect an LS10 or LS30 qRGB light strip to the radiator fans at the bottom using a Nexus Link Type-M male to Nexus Link Type-C female cable. If you're using the Nexus Portal NP50 as a primary node, you will have 3x Nexus Link Type-C channels utilizing Type-C female connectors to connect all the secondary nodes you'd want for your setup. Now we're moving on to Nexus Link secondary node combinations. For LS10 or LS30 qRGB light strips, you can continue adding light strips either directly to each other via Nexus Link Type-C or use a Type-C female to Type-C male extension cable. You can also sequentially connect to an FP12 at any point using the corresponding Nexus Link Type-C to Type-M cables. For FP12 fans, they effortlessly snap together directly to one another via Nexus Link Type-M connectors or via Type-M male to Type-M female extension cable. You 
can also sequentially connect to an LS10 or LS30 qRGB light strip at any point using the corresponding Type M to Type C cables. Additional lighting and cooling control is made possible via Height Nexus software. Use the lighting widget to customize the qRGB on LS10 or LS30 to your heart's content. Use the cooling widget to fine tune the performance of the FP12 fans and find the perfect balance between noise and airflow for your setup.